Hey, um, I haven't made a video in ages, literally ages, because I've just had such a hectic couple of weeks. I've had job interviews, coursework deadlines, blah 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 blah. Anyway, I just, I couldn't dedicate the time to filming, editing, all that jazz. Um, so yeah, this will be my first video in a little while. Um, not really sure if anyone really cares, but, I mean, it's just for fun. But I haven't had the time to be able to actually happily be spending that time on it when I know I should be doing other things. Um, but it's holidays now and all my interviews are out of the way and done and most of my coursework's finished. So I thought, hey, let's make a video. Thanks for checking out the video because I'm not exactly a professional because this is just something I do for fun and to document what I get up to. It's about one and I have a bit more work to do before I can go karting. Just have to get one piece of coursework in before I go so I'm still in my comfies and I'll get changed in a little bit. Um, Rue. I just handed in my coursework, thank goodness, it's finally out of the way. It, honestly, that thing has been going on for far too long now and I'm so glad that it's like, I can just put my mind off it because I can't, I can't edit it now. Um, I just got changed, got my cow G's on, absolute classic. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of running late. I think you probably hear that in every single video, but kind of running late. So yeah, I'm going to drive up to the carting place now. from the evening apparently I was kind of rubbish at casting but it was fun anyway um, we went back to Daisy's house and we got Chinese and just hung out and it was yeah it was a really chill evening um, hey um, it's Saturday I'm just uh, getting ready for the day um, my arms are actually killing me from yesterday I'm not even joking from the karting it's like Big, I can't straighten my arm, genuinely can't straighten my arm, but anyway, just been getting ready for another glossy out order because as you can see I'm running low on my moisturiser as well as a bunch of other things. If you enjoyed this stuff, I mean, you need it in your life, it is the best, I mean, I'm a whole bag of it, and not only all the products like so pretty, but like they're all they all work so amazingly just like um so yeah i've just i did some maths earlier and my glossier order and i'm just gonna go and meet mum in town because i just got a couple of things i need to get um my i haven't been able to find a nice laptop charger not laptop charger laptop case like the longest time. I don't know if I'm just fussy or something, but I just couldn't find one that I actually wanted to spend money on. So I'm going to go to the charity shop today and try and find like a nice jumper. Well, nice-ish. Obviously not nice enough, I'm gonna wear it. And just sort of turn that into a case because at the moment I'm just wrapping it in a jumper or something. So I thought, hey, I could actually just do that permanently. So yeah, and I'm also gonna try and get some varnish for the um, clay piece I've been making just so they're a bit more preserved and then when I get back later um, I'm going around Daisy's this evening for pre before we go to the party so yeah pretty chill day this concealer is literally the best because the, um, the stuff I used before the skin tint is like this sort of serum that you put all over your skin that just completely evens out your skin tone and mine because obviously it's been winter it's a shade darker than I am at the moment but it matches me in the summer so it just makes me look a bit healthier in the winter as well and then you get the concealer in the exact same shade so like it just completely 
that you put over like a red bit and it just makes your whole face just the same colour which is really nice my whole skincare and makeup routine is all glossier so yeah kind of addictive but I can't help it all this stuff is genuinely so good this product is probably my absolute favourite it's called cloud paint I have it in dusk and it is just amazing you actually put like the weeniest bit on your finger the weeniest bit and Awesome. Just makes you look so much healthier and everything. I've even got mum hooked on it as well. She, like, I found Glossier and ordered her, like maybe like three things. Loved it. And then now she, most of her things are Glossier as well. So when you first put it on, you're like, ah, I've got on too much. But, oh, you can't really see in this light, but oh my goodness, it's... I might make a video of my general face routine just because every single product, like, I literally love every single product in it. And they actually last months like this. I think to do. I mean, I used to put it all over my face, like, sometimes in summer I'll put it everywhere because it just makes you look really glowy and lovely. But at the moment, I just use it sort of as a highlighter. Um, and I literally use the tiniest, tiniest amount as highlighter. So it will literally last forever. And, oh my goodness, this. I can't even tell you. I cannot even tell you. It is my favourite. Well, I said the other thing was my favourite, but this. Oh my goodness. You probably won't even be able to tell, but like, in person, it honestly works wonders. It's like, um, it's called Boy Brow. I have it in brown. And it just makes your eyebrows look amazing. Without, like, it doesn't... Before and after, though. Genuinely. It doesn't, it's, it's like a coloured gel, almost. Or like... But you just add it and it just makes your brows look look full and amazing but not coloured in because I really don't like the coloured in brow look. Oh, they just look they look natural, like I don't know I don't know how they look on the camera, but in person they look really natural but like oh, so put together. This is actually the only thing in my routine that's not glossier. Um, only because, like, it works fine, so I haven't had a need to replace it yet. But when it runs out, I don't think I'll buy it again. I think I'll just go straight to the Glossier one because Mum has it. The Glossier Lash Slick, which is their mascara, and it looks great. This one's like, it's not bad enough to throw out, you know, so I'm not going to waste it. But when it runs out, I'm going to get the Glossier one. I also have this Bare Minerals lipstick. I very, very rarely use it, so I don't really count as part of my routine. But my upper lip looks really pale today. And then I'll just blend it out with my... Oh no, where is it? If you're friends with me, you know I always have a balm.com on me. I have about five different flavours. I'm just gonna keep my hair like this because I'm gonna go into town. I'll probably have to. I'll probably style it again later anyway, so I don't want to style it now. So yeah, all ready now. Um, got my Hawaii Brandy Melville jumper on, which is so cozy and like, see, it's not a hoodie, but it has pockets, which is awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna drive to town now and meet mum and get a couple of things. Um, G doesn't wanna come, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be dragged along anyway, so. Oh, I almost forgot the piece de resistance of my routine. The last thing I put on, and it's literally my favorite, is the Glossier fragrance. 
like I'm a bit I'm re I'm quite fussy about fragrance to be honest for years I've only used Chanel perfume just because hang on I'm gonna get it literally for years I've only used this perfume the Coco Chanel uh, Paris fragrance just because I'm really picky and this one just is really simple and clean and I really liked it but then when it started when it when it started to run out I got this just sort of as a day-to-day -day backup one because it was probably about half the price and it is incredible like I can't tell you how many people say when I'm wearing it wow that smells amazing like the amount of compliments you get on it is just oh it smells so good so yeah that's called the Glossier U fragrance it's called U fragrance because apparently it like it combines with your the chemicals on your skin and therefore it smells slightly different on everyone. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, I need to go to town, so see you later. Just parked at North Beach. Uh, we're gonna go find mum now. And you, you gonna go hang out with dad? Yeah. Nice. I had to bring my coat because it's actually kind of rainy, even though it doesn't have a hood. Or should we run? Come on, let's run. So yeah, just got back from town. Um, I didn't manage to find anything in the charity shops for my laptop, which is quite annoying. But I did get myself a couple new paint brushes. Oh, my nails are dreadful. Got myself a couple new paint brushes just because I'm sort of struggling with the ones I'm using at the moment. And I got some more white acrylic just because I use white in like every single colour blend I do. So it's running out really quickly. So I thought I'd just get a big one all my other um, paints is quite small. Um, I have about two hours before I have to leave for Daisy's pre. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of painting quickly and then sort my hair out because it's kind of boring at the moment. Me and mum also went to Taylor's for a coffee which is really nice. The coffee in there is so good. So yeah. I'm just painting a jewellery dish I made for mum because she wanted just something like a little tray to put her stuff in. Um, these are my two new paint brushes I got. Super interesting, not. Anyway, they're just from Lexicon, so. But I love when they have the little cap on it and it's just like they're so fresh and they haven't been used yet and it's so exciting. Yeah, that's lame, I know. But oh, when you get to like uncrisp them when they oh. Like when you first buy them, they're all stiff and then you have to uncrisp them so they're soft and oh, it's such a good feeling. Can't get these stupid price tags off. This, this is the moment. You do this part. Oh, oh so good. Um, I'm not gonna do this one yet because I won't be using it for this tray. So I'm not gonna bother. I'll save that when I get to use it more. Stay tuned and I might I might even show you what it looks like at the end. Just finished the tray for mum. She said she wanted orange and green, so I think that was achieved. I'm gonna just put this away and tidy up because I made a bit of a mess. And um 
get ready to go to Daisy's because it's already half six and I'm supposed to be there between half six and seven and she lives in the middle of nowhere. So <laughs> um, I'm gonna go get ready. Just heading to Daisy's now, obviously I'm running late. So yeah, I'm just wearing a little blue top on my jeans. Hey. 